Okay, welcome once again to joining my channel. <laughs> uh, we're still into this um, this procedure of going back to deeper log. So let's see how you went. Don't go away. So after I received the answer from Deepolog that they just needed a, a travel permit and to be emailed straight to them, uh, I made a request to one of those uh, pretty lady from health worker to uh, because they are working from the IATF office to request um, a travel permit. Okay, so <clears throat> all I need now to have is this uh, travel permit. Um, so I got the girls to, to get that for me and um, I got a text message this morning uh, saying that sorry not allowed to travel okay so that was a bit of a slap in the face obviously so <clears throat> I never give up I never give up so I thought um, that let's try something because um, let's not leave it as it is because uh, what happened to Dipolog is that um, when Marion went the first time they told her now nobody allowed to go in sorry cannot she went again and then the guy said oh but he needs to make sure there is no good health so she talked to me and I said to her okay bring her the um, certification so she went back showed the certification to the same person and then the some person said, oh, then the IATF need to email to us with the travel permit. So <clears throat> that's what we've done. So we've got, uh, oh, and also, sorry, uh, Mar and also uh, Marion had to write a letter why I should be allowed back to Dipolog. So obviously she explained everything that I live there and that I just came out of surgery and I need assistance. Um, anyway, it's so all those things. and. So that that request by letter to the Mayo was accepted. The certificate was received, and they actually rang Marianne to say, "Yeah, everything is fine, all good. We just need a travel permit from um, from uh, Cebu City Hall." So good. I mean, there's no problem with Dipolog, and they have the same type of enhanced community quarantine, so shouldn't be any problem. Yeah, when they refused it, um, I thought this is probably the same as Dipolog. Uh, Marianne was told twice, no, impossible. Uh, there's no, don't allow anybody. So I text back to to the ladies and uh, I said, please try again. Maybe ask the governor office. Uh, have another go. If not, I will do myself. So I haven't heard from them since uh, early this morning. Um, so what I got in plan is to uh, to go myself to the uh, my office, which is just ten minutes from here. So I will go there with all my papers. I got my uh, proof of residency. I got my SCR receipt. Uh, I've got my uh, flight schedule when I arrive to Cebu. I got my certification. And I've got all the coordinate and uh, contact detail of the Dipolog City Hall. Um, so I've got everything with me and um, I'm going to put my cast to them. So I'm not going to go right now because uh, everybody's on lunch. So I'll probably go in an hour time or, or something like that. And um, hopefully maybe I get something from the ladies. But if not... Before 3 p.m., I'm gonna go to that uh, my office and put my cats forward. Uh, just getting a little bit of a, just getting a tea before going to the my office. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we go. That's pretty my last chance. But there was nothing before the 28th when the. Uh, and then uh, community quarantine is over. If it's hopefully over, maybe it's extended. But Cebu is doing well. 
uh, till yesterday, no new cases uh, and one recovery. That's it. That's all they have. And I hope you stay like that. If you stay like that, um, I think <coughs> the quarantine will be lifted, or maybe just go back to just normal community quarantine. Then I will be able to travel out. So we see. in my office now, waiting with all my paperwork and see if I can get this uh, uh, travel permit uh, I'm at the back of the queue so I'm gonna have to wait for a while anyway, let's wait doesn't matter, I've got nothing else to do okay, still some hop, I just uh, finished with a uh, at the Mayo office and they wrote something here on a piece of paper they gave me an email address and uh, <clears throat> because the Polog already would accept me what they say is that they want an email from the Dipolog uh, Mayo office saying that they accept me so then the Mayo from Cebu will supply me with a travel permit we talk about bureaucracy Guys, this is, you know, I'm going back and forwards, I'm playing ping pong here, but anyway, uh, there's still a hope compared to this morning when I was told by the girls, uh, the health worker, that now I cannot travel at all, and that's not the case, um, there's still hope there, so I'm going to send an email to the um, Dipolog uh, City Major Office uh, with a copy of this writing here, that they request uh, them to to show the, attempt, the acceptance to, to let me in and then when uh, Cebu uh, City Hall received that email they will then provide me with a, with, a, uh, with a travel permit I hope I mean I'm going back and forwards here I hope I, I, I'm not sure this is oh. this is crazy I'm going back and forwards I lost already 7 days times 700 peso 4,900 in hotel plus food this is costing me a lot of money maybe I should talk to my solicitor <laughs> no, I'm going banana now okay anyway so look it, it's not lost there, there is hope so let, let's do that I'm gonna send this email and, and see what happens